Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about the calculation of rise time in the low pass RC network. See here, in the previous video I have explained the sinusoidal input condition followed by step input condition for this low pass RC network. When a step input is applied, suppose if it is a sinusoidal signal, the output is also a sinusoidal signal because we have seen a linear wave shaping means non-sinusoidal signal will change its shape but whereas if we apply a sinusoidal signal there is no change in the shape of the signal but when a non-sinusoidal signal is applied definitely the shape of the signal is varied that's why when a step is applied exponential signal is there in the output okay now if you observe this particular output waveform when a step input is applied, there are different conditions you can come across. One is a 10 percent of the output voltage and 90 percent of the output voltage and there are two different instants like T1 and T2. So, T1 is the instant where we are having 10 percent of the maximum output voltage and T2 is the time instant where we are having 90 percent of the maximum voltage. So, the time taken by the capacitor here the complete charging and discharging see whatever the condition is it is a low pass filter or a high pass filter definitely the charging and discharging occurrences are completely due to capacitor remember this point ok. The capacitor charges or discharges suppose if you are having in place of this capacitor if you are having a resistor then it acts as a it acts as an attenuator but not like a filter ok because capacitor whenever capacity is there this type of charging and discharging conditions will be encountered ok so as the capacitor is there and we are taking the output across capacitor in the low pass rc network especially we are taking the output across capacitor so definitely the changes made by this capacitor appears at the output so we have to deal with respect to this particular capacitor see the time taken by the capacitor if you, if you want to define the rise time rise time rise time rise time is indicated by tr rise time is denoted by tr it is the time taken by by whom by the capacitor it is the time taken by the capacitor to charge capacitor always charges to charge from where to where from 10 percent of maximum value maximum output voltage to the 90 percent of the maximum voltage. So, maximum voltage is V. So, 10 percent to 90 percent that means 0 0.1 volts uh, 0 0.1 V to 0.9 V ok this is what the rise time. So, it is nothing but the time taken by the capacitor to charge from 10 percent to 90 percent that particular time period this particular period is known as rise time. So, this is defined as TR that is equal to we can say it is the time gap between T1 and T2. So, T R is equal to therefore, we can write rise time T r is equal to T 2 minus T 1. This is the expression. Now, if you are able to calculate the T 1 and T 2 values, then if you substitute the, those two values here, then you can able to calculate the expression for the rise time. Okay. So, now we know the output voltage equation. So, we know in the previous case, I told you if the capacity is initially uncharged, we know the output voltage per the low pass RC network when capacitor is initially uncharged this condition we have taken like V naught of T is equal to 
V into 1 minus e power minus T by RC. This is the condition that we have taken when the capacitor is initially uncharged like V naught of T is equal to V into e 1 minus e power minus T by RC. Okay. Now with this equation, let us consider this as first equation. Now let us calculate T1 and T2. So at time T1, at time T1, what is the output voltage V naught of T is equal to at time T1, what is the output voltage See here? At time T1, this is the T1 time instant and it is the T2 time instant. At T1, we are having 10% of the maximum voltage. Maximum voltage is V. 10% means 0.1 V. Okay. So, V naught of T is equal to 0.1 times V. So, substitute that. Therefore, uh, from equation 1, V naught of T is equal to V into 1 minus E power minus T by RC. Now, substitute all these. 0.1 V is equal to V times 1 minus E power. T becomes now T1 by RC. Okay. Let us calculate T1 from this. So, just to manipulate this, V, V gets cancelled and 1 minus E power minus T1 by RC. 1 becomes 1. Uh, take E power minus T by T1 by RC on the left hand side and 0.1 on the right hand side then it becomes 0.9. So, E power minus T1 by RC is equal to 0.9 minus T1 by RC is equal to E comes onto the left, uh, right hand side with the natural logarithm 0.9. It is something like minus 0.9. 1 approximately it is minus 0 0.1 so therefore minus minus cancel and t1 is equal to 0 0.1 times rc t1 is equal to 0 0.1 times rc similarly at time t2 v naught of t is equal to so t2 is the time instant where we are having 90 percent of the maximum value so, 0 0.9 times V. So, from equation 1, substitute 0 0.9 V is equal to V times 1 minus E power minus T. Now, it becomes T2 by RC. So, V, V cancel 1 minus 0 0.9, 0 0.1. So, E power minus T2 by RC is equal to 1 minus 0 0.0.1. So, minus T2 by RC is equal to 0 0.1, that is a natural logarithm of 0 0.1, it is simply 0 0.1. It is approximately equal to 2.3 with a negative symbol. So, T2 is equal to 2.3 times RC. So, T2 is equal to 2.3 times RC. Now, what is the formula of rise time? Rise time is equal to? difference between T1 and T2. So, T2 minus T1. T1 is 0 0.1 RC and T2 is 2.3 RC. Therefore, rise time, rise time TR is equal to T2 minus T1 that is equal to 2.3 RC minus 0 0.1 RC that is equal to 2.2 times RC. This is the formula of rise time for a low pass RC network. Okay. So, 2.2 times RC. Okay. You have to remember this formula rise time for the low pass RC network for a capacitor to charge from 10% to 90% is 2.2 times RC. Okay. Directly, if you know this formula, if uh, R and C values are known, you can calculate what is the value of rise time. Okay. It is in terms of seconds, 2.2 RC seconds. Now, let us calculate what is the relation between, let us find out what is the relation between the rise time and the upper 3 dB frequency. What is the upper 3 dB frequency for the low pass RC network? Okay. If you take the frequency response, 
see I am drawing the frequency response here on x axis we are taking frequency in the first class I told you about this it is gain now low pass RC network frequency response is like this it is having upper cutoff frequency nothing but FH or F2 1 by root 2 if it is 1 it is 1 by root 2 if it is a it is a by root 2 okay this is what the frequency we have in the low pass rc network whereas it is upper 3 db frequency so now we are going to calculate the relation between relation between rise time tr and frequency upper constant upper 3 db frequency fh okay very easy just small relation between them that you can easily calculate okay see we know what is fh fh is equal to we have already did this in the previous classes uh, when lupus rc network is applied with the sinusoidal signal there i have calculated the gain and thereby the 3 db frequency we have calculated fh okay from there 1 by 2 pi rc upper constant upper cutoff frequency fh is equal to 1 by 2 pi rc okay that implies we can write rc is equal to 1 by 2 pi fh 1 by 2 pi fh see here take it as equation number 2 okay from equation 2 from equation 2 tr is equal to 2.2 rc so that implies rc is equal to tr by 2.2 tr by 2.2 substitute and equate these two rc is equal to 1 by 2 pi fh therefore 1 by 2 pi fh is equal to tr by 2.2 so therefore tr is equal to so it is 1.1 something like by f h into pi if you simplify again this one you will be having 0 0.35 by fh this is the relation between price time and FH. So, a TR is equal to 0 0.35 by H. FH. How these two are related, rise time and uh, upper 3 dB frequency, are they directly proportional or inversely proportional? They are inversely proportional to each other. So, rise time TR is inversely proportional to upper cutoff frequency what is the bandwidth of this one what is the bandwidth of this one bandwidth of this low pass rc network low pass rc network is bandwidth is equal to higher cutoff frequency minus lower cutoff frequency what is the lower cutoff frequency of this low pass rc network it is zero therefore bandwidth is equal to simply fh therefore the relation between tr and fh is also written like this fh is equal to bandwidth so this is the relation between bandwidth and rise time hope you understand how we have calculated and what we have calculated so far okay see this is what the relation between rise time and upper 3 db frequency or we can also say rise time and the bandwidth rise time and bandwidth is also same okay this is what the step input response and the relation between these two thank you